Please no. Looks like things are about to get active as we've got day after day after day of severe weather with a possible outbreak on Easter Sunday. I really hope that doesn't happen. I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know and how bad it could get. All that and more in your forecast starting now. This cat's eating pizza. Now guys, this is what we had yesterday. We had some mega hailstorms in Southern Ohio and in West Virginia where ping pong ball to baseball sized hail fell. We could expect more of the same this week as several rounds of severe weather impact the United States. Now weather warning wise, as of Tuesday, April 15th, we are basically warning free. Really the only thing worth mentioning here are some frost advisories here in Indiana. We've got some flood warnings along the Mississippi River that go all the way down in Louisiana. And then we've also got some winter storm watches out west in Wyoming and Montana where more snow, winter is not done with you just yet. Else than that, we don't have a lot. That is gonna change in the coming days. As we've got day after day of severe weather starting on Thursday, April 17th. Now we're gonna go through each day and show you what you could expect starting with Thursday. But I just want to give you guys a quick sneak peek of what we got. So we got a risk for Thursday, we've got a risk for Friday, we've got a risk for Saturday, and we've got a risk for Easter Sunday. So we'll start here with Thursday, April 17th. We've got this slight risk that basically includes all of Iowa, eastern portions of Nebraska, even northern Missouri here is getting in on the action. We're still three days out, so we don't have any tornado probabilities, but I wanna time this out and show you what you can expect. And guys, leading up to Thursday, we really don't have a lot to talk about for Tuesday and Wednesday. We've got this big area of high pressure that's gonna dominate and basically keep most of the United States precipitation free. Check it out, going into Thursday. This is where that signal for some severe weather will come in. This is Thursday morning. Now let's zoom in on this risk and show you when we're expecting the worst weather to hit. Okay, so looking at how will this play out, let's start with Thursday morning here. Notice we've got this low pressure that's moving off the Rockies. It's gonna have a warm front draped about right here. Along that warm front, you may get some shower and storm activity that forms Thursday morning in Iowa. That's just a precursor to the main event that'll come later on this afternoon. Watch as we go into Thursday afternoon and evening, you got a secondary area of precipitation that develops as a cold front that's attached to this thing slams off to the east. So Thursday night into Friday morning is when we could expect some more showers and storms to fire in Iowa. And that is when the severe weather will hit. Now here's why tornadoes could be an issue on Thursday night. Why, this is the temperatures and I wanna show you there's a possible triple point here. Let's just go ahead Thursday night. You'll notice there's a low pressure system somewhere up in here. There's a cold front right there, right along that boundary. There's also a warm front that's gonna be draped along here. The triple point is where the cold front, the warm front and that low pressure meet. And that is where you can have some turning in the winds and that's where you could have some tornadoes. That's why Iowa, you're in the crosshairs for this particular risk. Okay, so we talked about Thursday. Let's look at Friday. Right now, the Storm Prediction Center is highlighting this huge 15% risk that goes from Texas all the way up into Michigan. That includes cities like Detroit, Chicago, Oklahoma City, basically the entire central portion of Missouri, but not Columbus. Here's how it's all gonna go down. So if you guys remember Thursday, this was our low pressure that caused our severe weather. We'll have another area of low pressure that formed around Kansas and that's gonna lift its way off to the north Friday morning and as it moves to the north it's gonna drag a cold front behind it right through there and that cold front's gonna stall in a big way because it's going to run into some very warm moist air so you'll have cold air coming down from the north you'll have warm air coming up from the Gulf and where those two collide is where storms will fight that'll be Friday afternoon into Friday evening and that's good Friday by the way and this is just the beginning check it out Saturday that stationary front moves a little bit further to the south, and now we've got some of the same areas in Texas, and this time Arkansas, Kentucky, and Tennessee. You guys have another 15% risk on Saturday, April 19th. And just like Friday, those showers and storms are gonna fire right along that stationary boundary. So I think Thursday tornadoes are possible, Friday and Saturday tornadoes are possible as well, with large hail and damaging winds also 
being possible. Stop what you're doing right now. Pick up your mouse and your hand just like this. Throw it in the air, grab it again, hit the subscribe button and mash the like button and leave a comment below. Look, someone's leaving a comment. This video is so cool. Wow. Back to you, Stormcat. Now let's take a look at Sunday. This is Easter Sunday, April 20th. And this actually could be one of the biggest days out of the several that were highlighted. Now, I know the people in Arkansas don't want to see this, but this risk includes the entire state of Arkansas northeastern Texas, near Texarkana, and southeastern Missouri. Arkansas has had one of the most prolific starts to the tornado season in its history. I'm hoping this thing busts. But here's that picture I showed at the beginning of the video, and this is the upper level pattern. And watch, you guys know I've highlighted these dips in the jet stream before, that is a negatively tilted trough with a strong jet streak. That is a recipe for severe weather. Now, depending on where this trough sets up, that'll be our big determiner of where the severe weather is. Keep in mind, we still are about six days out from this event, so things are gonna change. Right now, Easter Sunday looks particularly potent with all hazards possible. Why? Please, no, we don't need this. No one needs this. On the bright side, at least we're starting to warm up across a huge chunk of the country. Check it out, above average temperatures are expected for the back half of April. Yes, get winter out of here. I'm done with winter. Give me some springtime conditions, baby. Straight beach vibes only. Cowabunga. <laughs> Now, how much rain is going to fall? Well, guess what, guys? A lot of rain is going to fall, and it's going to be concentrated on where that stationary front stalls out. So places like Arkansas, Missouri, Wisconsin, Ohio, Tennessee, Texas, you guys are all going to get a massive amount of rain over the next week. Anywhere you see in red or in orange, that's two, three, four inches of rain over the course of a week. And unfortunately, it looks like we're not done yet. It looks like the last two weeks of May, like we've been showing, the models continue to print out supercells from April 22nd, basically all the way through May 5th. It's like the big focal point will probably be in Texas, Oklahoma, Nebraska, even into Louisiana. Yeah, it's just a start, guys, of a very active, active, active period. How many times did I say active there? Like four, that was like four actives. Wow, that's crazy. Guys, try to say active like 10 times in a row, but you can't do it. Active, 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 active. Dang it! See how many actives you can post in a row in the comments below. Whoever does the most wins. And last reminder, guys, if you want to support us, help us do this more often here at the Stormfront Freaks YouTube channel, become a member, right? It's awesome. It's a, you're either a cat one and you're a cat two. That's like a cat or also a hurricane. Could be both. What I did there, it's five bucks a month for the lowest tier. Guys, that's nothing. It's like a cup of coffee for every month. Could you imagine that? Only drinking one cup of coffee for the entire month. That's all it costs to sign up for our membership. So sign up there. We've also got a $15 level that gets you exclusive perks, a special discount code for Stormfront Freak and Stormcat merch on the Weather Store, as well as exclusive access to videos and other things like that. So sign up here at our Stormfront Freaks YouTube channel. All you gotta do is hit that join button right there. This cat right here, this is the vibes of the video. Send me your cats on Twitter if you wanna see your cat just like this one. I'm gonna show one cat per video to show what exactly the vibes of the video are and this cat is it with all the severe weather we got. Meteorologists and storm chasers across the country look into the models like this right now. Ugh. Anyway, thanks for joining me today. Hopefully you guys have a wonderful day. Find someone, tell them you love them, do something nice for someone today. This is Stormcat5 and I'll see you on the next one.